Murphy's Law, a social concept way older than the game, which some of you just lost, is one of the most referenced principles in popular culture, and yet it's pretty hard to explain. Murphy's Law states that an individual trying to accomplish a simple task, especially if they call it a simple task, will face every possible difficulty while performing it. It's an explanation for why statistically uncommon, inopportune things occur frequently in a person's life, especially grand pianos. As a firm believer in this principle, I definitely feel the wrath of Murphy from time to time, especially around my printer. I can't count the number of times I've needed to reprint something because of bad ink cartridge, or a paper jam, or random outbreak of fire in the living room. You know, maybe I'm cursed. It's an elegant solution for anything that goes wrong around people. A universal scapegoat for bad coincidence in any occasion. However, there was one fatal flaw with Murphy's Law. And it comes from us. Selective memory. Any routine task becomes part of the background of someone's life, and assumes successful action, repeated without difficulty. So the one time in 10,000 that that coffee maker explodes, that'll be the time you remember, no matter how many debris-free coffee pots follow. The likelihood of something horribly failing is not at the whim of some clever-sounding law, just outcomes of probability. Extra pressure felt during the public event increases the odds of human error, because most people tend to get twitchy beneath the spotlight. That's all there is to it. You combine confirmation bias with nervousness, and Murphy's Law is totally explained. Guess we had a power outage. Oh well, at least the camera has plenty of juice left.